Alright, according to the owner, this is a 1991 Dodge Ram van. Camper van, as you can tell. Look, check it out. I'm shocked it's a 91 given that this thing looks exactly, well, very roughly like 1978. And as it turns out, this style was from 1979 to 1993. So, hence why there's been no fucking changes to this thing, basically. Tomer says 288,000, that would be kilometers in Canadian. The engine options throughout the life of this van were uh, all of them, including slant six, uh, all the way up to a 440, but only so many years had those, and I think that this generation, 318 or 360, were the two options that still existed in 1991. Anyway, still, everything, you know, pretty old school. Let's have a look at the back. Fuck yeah. House power. So that's got a generator somewhere. Hello. Yeah, somebody's got a speaker system going on here. Obviously all the uh, poor shit for camp edge. I got here. Oh yeah. Noodle time. Campbell soup. We don't mind me going through his cupboards. I didn't really ask that part. Let's have a look here. Oh yes, a lock of course. Very, very, very wise. It is coolish. I am locking that. It's probably the uh, trailer power or whatever. Anyway, dude, this is the thing of fucking beauty. Wait, I just gotta sit here, man. Mike brings out the whole van this thing, and of course you can pack a bunch of shit in the back, and uh, it's just fucking righteous. So I'm curious to know about that. Check this out. Carrie would love that shit. That's pretty fucking brilliant. In the uh, earlier times, you could buy this with a slant six, like what's in the uh, oh yeah Italian. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't have had enough power to. You'd have enough torque to make it move off the line, but yeah. if you want to carry a whole bunch of people around, you're going to have a problem. Yeah. If you're going up to Nanaimo or whatever, yeah. it'll be a slow day. <laughs> oh, I see there's a bolt here holding the bottom ones on, two of them. So these are one thing, and then there's two bolts. Oh, they're only finger tight, yo. They knew it was coming back, I think. Oh, you bastards. Somebody put some new plug wires in. Yeah, I wish I knew a bit better. There's something going on, eh? But with the uh, distributor in the back here... Well, actually, I don't know if 318 and the 360 might both have that. Yeah, I... I don't remember. The 360, I thought, was in the front. My Thrix 361 from the 60s distributor was right in the front of the engine. Mm -hmm. But I don't know... About these bastards. It sure is fucking packed in there though. Yeah. It's hard to believe you can just like drive with the engine right fucking there. Right there, any legs. Singer <laughs> or cop fire, you'd have a bad fucking day. Yeah. Mm. And there's this other the vacuum operated uh, baffle in there too for choking off air in the cold. Yeah. But I see all these. Fucking vacuum lines everywhere. Mm. Doesn't take much of a vacuum leak for this whole thing to just no, it'd be a mess. Be unhappy. This one. Wow. Well, this would have been the height yeah. of the new emission standards, right? 
it's 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 more complicated than it needs to be. It's been yeah, it's it been recomplicated mm -hmm. for no fucking good reason at all, except emissions and fucking. But you know, this thing's still bouching it out. Yeah, totally. They haven't saved. <laughs> they haven't Nothing. saved much. No. All they did was uh, <clears throat> put enough vacuum hoses on here to starve this engine of air and make it a less functioning engine. Yeah. That's what all this shit. Cuts the horsepower by half. Cuts the emissions by... Lots. Yeah, just pull go all that shit and get rid of it. I love the way you can see like right into the ground though. That's fucking cool. Mm -hmm. I know people do it all the time, but it'd be a bitch to fucking drag this out here. Yeah. You have to take all those heats out and fucking half the dash, bro. I don't think there's any way to get out the front and just take the whole front off. I don't know what the operation is exactly, yeah. I better try to start it uh, before we button up our rules. Yeah, because it might not be... Uh... <laughs> it might not be fun. Oh, yeah. I'm flying over here. Somebody puts new plugs on though. Yeah. There's spark plugs too. One thing I've never seen is a configuration like this with two plugs like close close. Yeah. Close close. So usually they're spread out, right? Like But they're angled as well. Yeah. You see the angle they're sitting yeah. at? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to spread across the thing. That's probably just a system I've never ever seen. I don't know what the hell it is. But the exhaust manifold is cutting them across, like it's in between the two little yeah. one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. That's too much electronic. Yeah, it doesn't need any of that. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. Not to be a running engine. <laughs> it doesn't need any of that, does it? Get rid of it. Nobody's ever bothered to replace the coil, it's probably a million years old, but it's fine. Yeah. I just do it because it's cheap. Actually, it's going pretty cold. I thought it'd be like super hot even right now. Mm -hmm. press, press the... Pretty slick, but oh, I love all the heat shield shit. Now it comes back. Stop and come back. There you are. And then it's oh, a pain in the ass. Yeah. I'm supposed to leave the engine open. This thing is pretty cool. I'm glad the wife didn't see that. That'd be good for the old cars. Does that one seem clamped in? Yeah. I have to admit, I might need a fucking van now. Although I think I would run it like without this fucking thing. Although that might not be legal. Well, around here it doesn't seem to fucking matter. No. With this register, you don't ever have to get it fucking inspected again. No. Even Ontario's getting rid of the emissions for cars, eh? Which is fucked up. It's been there for like 20 years. Yeah. They're only going to focus on trucks. Like uh, semis. Oh yeah, so the bigger stuff. As if that makes a difference really. What are you going to do about it? Fucking guys are running the economy. Like, you know. Yeah. Just try and stop them from fucking running on the highways. Sink your own economy. I better adjust this again. Yeah, baby. Surprisingly quiet. Like, that's what I don't get. Yeah. How the fuck? Half the engines it's right, right goddamn there, here. Right on top of you, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? That I'm not sure of. Smooth. I guess they got it right, that configuration. I guess so. 